Welcome to this first stop safety video, which highlights all the features and benefits of the BAT PAT tester. This device is ideal for beginners in PAT testing. Here, you can see the layout of the front panel. This video will explain the functions of the various buttons, and the results shown on the LED display. Here is a class 1 test being done on a toaster. The appliance is plugged into the pad tester. The test lead is clipped to a suitable metal part on the appliance. The toaster lever is kept down to switch it on, and the class 1 button is pressed. The results on the display show the following. The power switch was on. The earth continuity and the insulation resistance were a pass. Overall, the appliance passed. The power on test, is a reminder to always have the appliance switched on, when carrying out a test. The LED is lit green if the power switch was on. If it is not possible to switch the appliance on, the tester will carry on after a few seconds. In this case, the power on LED will not be lit. When carrying out the earth continuity test, it is important to clip onto an earthed metal part. However, on some class 1 appliances, this is not possible. This fan, with a plastic body, is an example. Just press the class 1 plastic button, to carry out the test. The results on the display show the following. The power was on, and the insulation resistance was a pass. Overall, the appliance passed. Here is a class 2 test being done on a power supply. The device is plugged into the pad tester. The test lead is clipped to a suitable metal part on the appliance. There is no power on switch. As the rating plate has a double box this appliance is class 2. The class 2 button is pressed to carry out the test. The results on the display show the following. The power was on, and the insulation resistance was a pass. Overall, the appliance passed. This shows a power cord test being carried out on a mains extension lead. This is plugged into the pad tester. The short IEC lead is plugged into one of its sockets, as well as into the pad tester. The power cord button is pressed to carry out the test. The results on the display show that the earth continuity, insulation resistance, and the polarity, were all a pass. Overall, the appliance passed. The IET Code of Practice recommends adjusting the earth continuity pass limit when testing appliances with long leads. The bat pad makes this very easy to do by allowing the limit to be adjusted. A battery charger is supplied with the bat pad. A fully charged unit can carry out more than 700 tests. This book is an excellent companion to the BatPat tester. It is a simple guide to maintaining appliances in low-risk environments, like offices, shops, hotels and nursing homes. It is also a guide for people working from home, so that they can continue to make sure, that any device they use for work, is safe to use.